good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about managing our client libraries and packages, frameworks, that sort of thing. So far, when we write our to, wrote our to-do application or when we have had to use a client library um, for a client application like Angular, for example, we just type it in that HTML file and you know it was somewhere off on the internet at some website and we pulled it down. The other thing we could have done was download it and use it locally, reference it locally on our file system. But we don't want to have to take care of that. It would be nice to have something to help us take care of these, you know, sort of thing like which version of file we need to pull down, keeping them in sync and so on. So that's what we're going to talk about today, this tool called Bower that allows us to manage the packages that we need for our client front or client application, the front end. So in this section, um, we, I'm going to try to say what Bower is and then we're going to see how to install it and use it specifically to manage Angular JS dependency and then we'll refactor our to-do application to use the Bower modules. Now again, module packages, same thing and we're going to use Bower to refactor um, our client application. As I said before, Bower is a tool to help you manage your client libraries, framework, and so on. And so the first part there is directly from the Bower website itself. And it says, websites are made of a lot of things, framework, library, assets, and utilities. Bower manages all of these things for you. For us, we're going to focus on using Bower as a dependency manager for framework and libraries. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, so far, when we've used Angular, we have, it didn't have any other dependency. But there are other things that we're going to use later that are going to have dependencies. And it's best if you don't have to track down all these libraries that depend on each other. So for example, AngularJS, it could use jQuery as a library if you want. So if we wanted to use um, jQuery in addition to Angular, we can say, oh, install jQuery, install AngularJS. Um, the Angular Material library, if we wanted to use that, that depends on AngularJS. So you may just want to say install Angular J Material and then have that also install Angular, um, its dependency, whatever it wants, it needs, right? So we're going to see examples of that later, not now, in future videos. For now, we just want to get the basic of using Bower. So let's talk about how to install it. So Bower is an application um, for your command line that's installed by NPM. So Node Package Manager, remember we can use it to install libraries and packages that we want to use. Um, for example, for our backend, we'd use NPM to install the JSON read write um, package and we were able to use that for our backend. Well, now we're going to use NPM and we're going to say install and we're going to use the minus G flag. What a minus G flag means is install it globally so we can use it like a command line tool instead of just installing it locally within our application directory. And once we say install globally, um, it's going to install Bower and we're going to have it available in our path. Now, if you have any error with like e-access or permission denial or anything like that, you're going to want to watch that video um, I link at the bottom, how to resolve permission issues in Bower, um, for NPM. One of the things you might want to do is just set up your, configure your NPM to install all your files within your local di home directory instead of trying to install them on the system for other users. And so that's a nice way of getting wrong any protection issue, permission issue if you're not the admin. And it's fairly easy. Once you say npm install minus g bower, now it's installed. Now you just have to say bower install and the package name, for example. And in the case of AngularJS, you can just say um, bower install Angular. All right, JS. All right, and we're going to see exactly that. We're going to walk through it in this uh, next slide. Okay, so this slide is a little fuzzy, but if you go look at the images or get the PowerPoint presentation um, online, which is, I know the, the link is the first slide is this video, um, or in the description below, uh, you're going to see that, um, so if you look at this um, screenshot, you see it how I did install npm install minus g bower and it did that and told me where it stored it and then afterward i um i show you what's in my current directory we're going to pretend this is my um, project directory for my client application i have nothing in there 
and then I install AngularJS library. And now when I look again, you see it created a directory called bower underscore components. And inside of that, subdirectory for the package that I installed. In this case, it was Angular. And using it just means that though, since I have Angular now locally in my file system, my HTML file just reference Angular locally instead of having to pull it down from a website. Installing an application locally is all fine and dandy. But if I'm working with someone else, it'd be nice if once they get my project, they can just say Bower install in my project directory and of all the dependencies that are required for my application be installed. And that is exactly what a Bower.json file gives you. It's sort of like the equivalent for the package.json file, which you use for managing backend stuff. Um, just with NPM, you know, you have the package.json file and once you have your dependencies in there, you can just say package install and it download and install them in the node um, modules directory. Well, here is what a, you can use the bower init command to create a bower.json file, or you can just um, create a bower.json file by hand if you are capable of it. But I use the bower init here in this example, and the only time I accepted all the defaults, except for the last two questions there, I said yes, and then I have this file, and if you look at it, it's not very complex file, so again, you can type it. And now you can see it, so when I do um, Angular install, this time I use the minus minus save um, option on the Bower install command, and that says add it to my Bower.json file so that next time I want to, for any reason, or when I commit my changes, I don't need to save the actual Bower uh, components directory. I don't need to commit that. I just need to commit the bower.json file and you can download my code now and then just say bower install and it's going to look at the bower.json file, see that it needs to install AngularJS and it's just going to install. So it makes things very easy. And if you add some other dependency, um, maybe jQuery or Angular material, again, you can just add it to this file and it works just fine demonstrate that. So here you can see I do a ls and I see bower.json and my bower underscore components directory. I'm going to remove the bower components directory and I do a ls again and so I just have the bower.json file. And once I type bower install, notice how it goes and it install um, AngularJS and the correct version because that information is in the bower.json file. And if I do a ls again, well, there it is, my back, my bower underscore components directory is restored. So you never need to commit this directory to your repository. And so for this project, I already have a git that ignore file that says do not commit bower underscore components to directory to the repository. So here's an example of a simple Angular application using our Angular JS that we install with bower. So since I have Bower components um, already populated with my Angular package, I can write a simple index.html file. And there on line 12, you can see the only thing that's different is that it's referencing the AngularJS that we have locally on our file system in the Bower directory. And over on the left side of the screen, you can see exactly where that is used in the file system navigation in my editor we're ready to refactor our to-do application. And it's fairly easy, really. Um, so now I want two packages. I need Angular and Angular Router. So I do exactly that what we saw before. I said Bower install uh, with the minus save dependency in my client application directory after I created my Bower.json file. And then I save AngularJS and I rerun the same command and save um, Angular G, um, router. And you can see over there on the far right, I put the square bracket around it again. This is fuzzy, so you might need to go look at the PowerPoint presentation or the actual slide. And then in our client application in index.html, I simply reference those two files that are local instead of from the internet. And that's it. That's all we need to refactor our application. So that's it. Um, I hope you learned something as usual and come back for the next video. Uh, we're going to continue learning more tools and tricks to make developing application easier and taking some of that boredom and tedium that we've had to do.
so see you in the next video take care bye if you haven't subscribed please do and spread the word bye